my name is Jan Boerta and in this section we're going to look at how to configure functional workgroups. The workgroups container can be accessed under the people container within the interaction administrator. Once you are in the workgroups container you can open up a workgroup by simply double clicking the name or if you want to create a new workgroup you can right click anywhere in the properties area list view and select new. I am opening up an existing workgroup. For functional workgroups you can assign an extension number to the workgroup. It does not have to be part of the DID plan, but assigning an extension number will assist if you want to do consultative transfers to the workgroup. You can optionally assign a mailbox to the workgroup for routing interactions, for example, after hours. You can even supply a preferred language for the workgroup if you have got multiple language packs installed. The environment that turns this into a functional workgroup is actually this tick box over here where my mouse currently is. If you have this box ticked where it states workgroup has a queue, effectively you are turning the workgroup's capability of taking interactions on. Once you've selected that the workgroup has a queue, you can then specify which type of queue the workgroup should be using. Custom or ACD falls within our contact center environment discussed in a separate section. Alternatively, if you want to set up simple groupings, you can set up group ring, which means all the users in that work group will ring at the same time. Sequential ringing, where the call or interaction will always go to the first user in the list, then the second, then the third. Every new interaction will always try to go to the first user in the list. Or round robin, which means every new interaction coming in will basically be routed to the next one on the list, bottoming out at the bottom and then starting from the top again. Once you have decided what type of work group you are going to be using in this functional environment, you can then select to record all calls and whether the work group spans sites in a networked environment. If you are using the interaction recorder, do not tick the box for recording all calls, this will result in duplicate recordings. Configuring surface levels will be covered in the ACD section. If you do turn recording on, you also do have the option over here to use tones with recording, which basically will notify both the caller and or the agent that the interaction is being recorded. In this section, we looked at how to configure a functional workgroup. Thank you very much for joining me and see you again soon.